So here's our challenge today, 6 divided by 3 times 2 plus 1. Maybe a lot of students may be saying, okay, mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. We have division, multiplication, so I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. We don't have like a huge numbers, we don't have like a huge value search here. 6, 3, 2, and 1. So a lot of students may be saying, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen. I can handle with this challenge, okay? So put, pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. What do you think about correct answer A, B, and C, three options? So pause the video, try to solve it by yourself. Let's test our answer. Let's check our score knowledge in the end of the video so it will be really interesting so first of all here's our challenge and i want to rewrite this challenge right here so we have six we have division by three times two plus one yeah we have two plus one Okay, here is our challenge. And right here we have division, we have multiplication, and we have addition. What we should do at first? Division, multiplication, right here, we have addition, and it turns into a big argument. A lot of students confused what we should do at first, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, let's look, for example, at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. So let's solve this question according to this PEMDAS order of operation. Okay, let's do this. So how does this PEMDAS works? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, maybe we have like 3 squares, 3 cubes, yeah? Next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the next step is addition and subtraction group, okay? This is our last step. So right now how does it work? We should scan what is the first step, okay? First step according to PEMDAS, so PEMDAS has the highest priority, so we should scan where do we have these parentheses. Let's look at it. So right here we don't have parentheses, we don't have parentheses, here we have parentheses right here. So first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. So let's do this. So what do we have right here? We have parentheses, this is our first step. So let's do this. So we have 6 divided by 3 times we have 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So we have times 3. Let's go to the next step. Exponents. What about exponents? Let's look at it. Where do we have exponents? Maybe square, cube. I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents, so we just... We just skip this part, we don't have any exponents. Let's go to the next step. The next step is the trickiest step I've ever seen in the world because multiplication and division, this is, uh, first of all, this is common group. This is one common group. So according to PEMDAS, multiplication and division have the same priority. So division, multiplication, multiplication, division, doesn't matter, have the same priority. And in this case, we have the exactly the same case, multiplication, division, part. So right now, what is the correct order? We should scan what is the first sign from left to right. And this is how it works, okay? The first sign from left to right. We have multiplication, we have division. Because a lot of students do this mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, multiplication, let's multiply right here 3 times 3, but it's not works like that. We should scan what is the first sign from left to right. We have both multiplication and division. So let's scan where do we have this, what we should do at first. First sign from left to right is this division, so we should divide 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 equal to, equal to 2, yeah? And we have 2 times 3, our last step, yes, right here we have division, our second step. It works only in this case, division, second step. Multiplication is our last step, third step, and we don't have addition, we don't have subtraction, okay? So 2 times 3 equal to... 2 times 3 equal to equal to 6. And right now a lot of students mm, confused about the answer. We don't have this option right here. And then a lot of students go back to this answer and they try to multiply it first. 3 times 3. Which gives us, so I want to separate this part, 3 times 3 gives us 9. So as a result we have 6 divided by, divided by 9. Which gives us right here 2 over 3. And a lot of students confused about it. They say, okay, right here we can easily, we don't have this option, but if we, div if we multiply 3 times 3 at first and then divide this 6 by 9, we have 2 over 3 and we have this option B. But in terms of math, it's not works like that, okay? If you want to divide by 9, just put brackets right here. So it means that you want to divide by the whole expression. So then you put brackets. And then 6 divided by 9, okay, uh, to third, this is a correct answer. But in our case, we don't have these parentheses right here. So it means from left to right. So forget about this option to third. Correct answer is option nine. For those who don't trust me, you can easily write this six over three because a lot of students tell me, okay, mister, let's write this six over three as, as a fraction. Let's do this, let's try, okay? So we have six over three as a fraction, okay? And next we have times two plus one, okay? So times two plus one inside parentheses, okay? Let's look at it. Six divided by three equal to two. So we have two times 2 plus 1 equal to 3. So we have the same 6, okay? So this is a proof to this, to this challenge. But if you want to divide by the whole expression on the right, so something like that, if you want to divide 6 divided by 
3 times 3, just put parentheses, okay? And then 3 times 3 equal to 9, and then you have 6 divided by 9, which is equal to 2 over 2 over 3, okay? This is really important moment, don't forget about it. But in our case, we don't have parentheses, so from left to right. This is 2 third with parentheses. In our case, correct answer is 6. What about the correct option? Right here, this is option C, because 3 factorial, this is the same. This is a product from 1, 2, 3, so we have 1 times 2, 1. Uh, right here we have 1, 1 times 2 times 3, which is equal to 3 factorial. So correct answer is 6 to this challenge. Option B is a correct, uh, sorry, B no, yeah, we have option C is a correct answer to this challenge. So this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new. Don't forget about this uh, this part because this is a very important part. A lot of students choose this option B, but it not works like that. We have we need to put brackets right here. If with parentheses, correct answer is two third. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so correct answer is only six. This is my explanation to this challenge. Also, don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, see you in the next videos and have a great day.